Alrighty, we are now prepared to wrap things up here. Marco claims that in the center of the vortex of this coil, a black hole white hole pair is created. Following that, we have a matter antimatter annihilation process going on inside that singularity, which results in the radiation of a lot of photonic energy from the center of the vortex of the coil. And if photovoltaic devices are placed around the center of the coil, this energy can be collected and converted into useful electricity. I have an issue with this. One, because nothing radiates out of a true singularity. As far as anyone has observed, nothing is directly radiated from around a black hole. So where is this photonic energy being radiated from? If it's being radiated, then whatever is at the center of that vortex is not a black hole. Okay, moving on. Marco also claims that the coil creates thrust. And the thrust is created by matter being pulled in the black hole side and then being spewed out the white hole side. Again, we have the black hole problem of nothing gets radiated. However, I came up with the idea here that with the red dashed line, if a particle gets drawn to the black hole side, but not into the singularity itself, and then is repelled, accelerates away from the white hole side, this would produce a thrust. So if we have a whole bunch of particles being drawn to closely, but not into the black hole, and then pushed away on the white hole side, that would produce a thrust. Okay, going back to the radiated, presuming the thing radiates photonic energy, like he says, that radiation is being produced by matter-antimatter annihilation process, which is the most energetic process we know of. The radiation will be very harsh. I would imagine hard x-rays, gamma rays, perhaps even cosmic rays, in addition with a lot of infrared. Um, were you to try and generate any significant amount of energy from this, you would have to worry about maintaining the integrity of the coil. Uh, the heat would start melting it. Radiation might embrittle it. And it would definitely need significant shielding. So I doubt a benchtop singularity is something anyone actually wants to behold. The people with the big bucks and the big labs have kept silent about their research into the rodent coil. So perhaps there's actually something to it.